In the U.S., we have a persistent gap in the achievement of kids who live in poverty and kids in wealthy communities. What's this over here? Project-based learning is a very powerful tool to connect students with their communities, with real purposes and audiences, and it does appear to be an effective way of improving student achievement. My name is Annalisa Halverson, and along with Nell Duke, we designed curricula that integrated literacy and social studies using project-based learning. Project PLACE stands for Project Approach to Literacy and Civic Engagement. We designed four big projects. We aligned the units around the literacy standards and social studies standards for second grade. Then we commenced a fairly large study to test the impact in high poverty, low performing school districts. Our study was with 48 different classrooms in 20 elementary schools. Half of them were assigned to teach the projects that we designed, and half of them were asked to teach their regular social studies curriculum. Teachers were randomly assigned to do project-based learning or not. These were teachers who did not have prior experience doing project-based learning. They taught 60 lessons, and we tested children at the end of the school year. We found that students who received project-based learning scored at higher levels in reading and social studies. So that tells us that a project-based framework can be successful right out of the gate. So this morning, we are going to go on our field trip to Hawthorne Park. My name is Aaron Phillips. I teach second grade at Grayson Elementary. We are doing the civics and government unit of Project Place. We started the unit by taking a field trip. Go ahead, guys. We go to a park and kind of just discover the park and look at its strengths and weaknesses. All the kids were engaged, all the kids were interested. That is when they can shine. You can see a total difference in the learning. It was very exciting for our kids to feel that they had a voice in what could possibly promote change. Wow! Right away, the driving purpose to improve the park or other public space is established. All right, let's start heading towards the bus. Every lesson, there's a direct connection between what students are doing and that ultimate purpose that they have. So the ground of the play structure was not safe? We were writing things that you did not like and you think that you can fix. You could like fall down. There's no wood chips and the weed barriers are coming out. Does anybody have any ideas of something we could do? We could say to the person who made the park to, to fix the park. Our hope was that students would see that they're valuable contributing members to a community and they can make a difference. I wonder if we could try to persuade people in the government to fix something at the park. We learned how to write a proposal. They got to create posters for the different departments within local government. So what does the sanitation department do to help citizens? Helps the environment be clean. There you go. Children are curious about the world around them. They're curious about issues in their community and what adults do. Is this what your group did, Kaylee? So civic education is really important part of students becoming functioning citizens who are contributing and are active in their communities. Make the play area safer. We took the work and made it into a PowerPoint presentation to ultimately present it to somebody on city council. Today is the proposing day where we propose to the councilman. Hi, I'm City Councilman Randy Carter. We know from research children's writing tends to be stronger when they are writing for an audience beyond school. Good morning and welcome to Grayson Elementary. Part of it is that project-based learning conveys high expectations for students. Our class suggested adding more wood chips. As much as possible, we want to give kids an opportunity to write for an audience that's not just their teacher, but maybe members of their local community, their state, their nation, or the world. Councilman Carter, we hope you enjoyed our hard work. They were able to show me with pictures and data exactly what the problems are. I will act upon their proposal immediately. Can we say Grayson Gators get things done? It just makes myself proud that I'm helping the whole community. Project-based learning gives children of all ages, of all status, of all diversity, 
an opportunity to have a voice. I see the level of engagement. I see that the learning becomes contagious. And I see that years later, kids come back to me and talk about the projects. We were excited about conducting this study to be able to really say project-based learning can make a difference in children's achievement at the elementary level. It's a great alternative to traditional approaches to learning.